Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another adventure video. <laughs> I don't know if the, the previous videos have all been that adventurous, but I'm back out, what was it, uh, two videos ago where I was up in the forest to see, I went in search of that forest fire or wh where the forest fire was. I'm back right at the beginning of the clay road. So that was two weeks ago. It, crows in the air two weeks ago and I talked about navigation type system well I took all your guys advice and all my previous experiences with trying different stuff and I kind of took my own route I think um, I went ahead and got that Garmin Overlander so I'm back out today to test it out mainly test it out in as I drive in, I find my little 4x4 tracks, uh, record that location and drive the track and save it and see how that works out. I hope it works out good. We're going to test that out today. So it's been raining every day, late in the afternoon to at night, not during the day. And during the day, it's like the skies. It's beautiful. But around 2, 3, 4, 5 o'clock, it starts to just come down, monsoon. Last night, we had hail and flash floods, like literally flash floods everywhere. So the last video I was talking about as I was coming in here, I actually did the intro down in that flat area, that flat valley. And as I went down and up and down through those little washouts, it was pretty dry back then. Well, this time there was water. There was water in every one, not every one of them, but most of them there was water. So I thought today I brought the Jeep with me. I brought the Jeep out with me because just in case it's really bad and I'm recording these tracks and I may need to get myself out of a sticky situation. I've got, uh, I brought a shovel with me, which I don't usually carry a shovel on the Jeep, but I've got my, my worn winch here. There's a video of me getting stuck in some ridiculous snow and using, using the winch for the first time after like four years to actually get myself out. I've got uh, 37 inch tires and twin air lockers on this bad boy, so it should be good, but I can already see the clay is still wet. You see how, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a lot darker than it was in the last video. And then there's there's pools of, uh, pools of stuff here. So this is the, the little paved, there's a paved road here. Runs north and south. It doesn't run that far. But I pick it up down in the valley down there. It goes from dirt to this paved road. And then if you keep heading north this way, you'll end up in Williams, Arizona, at right at the 40. The uh, Route 66 goes through there and they have um, like the little downtown is old school with neon lights and stuff. I don't know if I've ever captured any of that, but let's take a quick look at this and then we'll, we'll head down the track. Hopefully it's going to be dark in here. I've got the uh, the passenger cam up here for you guys. That's like what you would see if you were sitting in the passenger seat. And I got the Overlander mounted mounted right there. I know it's really dark in there, but um, what I'm using is the there's a suction cup that came with it with the ram mounts. Pretty cool. All right, let's get let's get headed down this way. I want to go test this thing out. In one half mile, keep right to National Forest 57. I wasn't actually using the navigation. That some people had stopped by and they were looking for a certain lake up here, so I typed it into the navigation, showed them where it was, and then when I took off the navigation started trying to navigate me to that actual lake. But look how look how nice this meadow looks with all the rain. Everything's so nice and green and really blue skies. It just was really good, really good day. But you'll see as this video goes on how the skies darken up. And then 
how I just barely made it out of here with all the rain. Aren't you guys so far so good super super fun i've been having a, a blast i just went on look i'm i'm testing out this this navigator this garmin overlander and it's had some uh some surprising side effects on my on my adventure um i, I just found like the six mile and it ended up being a loop and the side effect is that because I was only looking at the tracking screen, I wasn't looking at a map screen. I didn't know really where I was going other than I knew when I was turning, you know, north, south, east, and west, that kind of stuff. Now, I'm sure you can actually have the, uh, the map up there at the same time, but the cool side effect was it was, I didn't know where I was going, so it was cool. I'm like, where am I gonna come out? And I popped out, it ended up doing this huge loop through up and over these mud puddles and rocky mountains and crazy tracks. It was really fun. The only problem is I can't, I don't really want to stop and do this because I'm in the middle of a track, you know, tracking that trail. So I just wanted to keep kind of doing its thing. Not that big of a deal because you once you get them tracked, then you're going to know. There was a ton of cool camping spots and it's up on top of the mountain. I think I did about 1,500 feet of elevation change. And the... Uh, Saw a little bit, a uh, little bit, saw a lot of mud puddles, well, water puddles. And I went through them really slow to try not to sling too much mud, but it's the, it's the areas that look dry are the more dangerous ones. They're the more dangerous ones. So 
I just stopped here to take a break. That was about, it took me about an hour, hour to do, to do that track there. And it was really fun. So I'm just taking a little break and I'm gonna go do some more trails down the road. Wow, that was really cool. So the trail I started on was the one I did in the uh, Land Cruiser two weeks ago. But, and it's the same one that my, my buddy Anthony and me went through in the snow. And I went the same way that we went before. And we came to what we thought was a dead end because it was all covered in snow and we lost the road. Well, I went through this time and I got a little bit farther and the trail kept going except there was some trees that were way too low for me to go under. So that brings to mind, I need to get a chainsaw. I mean, I used to have a chainsaw. I used to have a nice uh, gas powered Husqvarna chainsaw, but I got rid of it when I moved to Arizona, which that was kind of stupid, I guess. But I have mostly Milwaukee power tools. That's mostly what I'm using now. I mean, I got a couple Bosch, a couple DeWalt, but mostly Milwaukee. So I'll probably get a Milwaukee, uh, I'll save up to get a Milwaukee electric chainsaw that I can carry with me. Cause there was a few, more than a few times just in the last hour and a half that I really could have used it. So that's one thing that's cool that I figured out along the way, but so far so good. It's really, it really seems to be working. I recorded, the dead end track then I came back where it wide off and went the other way and that ended up going six miles and looping me all the way back to that main clay road about probably two miles before I started the original track that's probably confusing but it's neither here nor there at this point Woo, man this is fun thank goodness thank goodness I brought the Jeep today because I think I got some of the puddles for you, but man, bog hole after bog hole after bog hole I was going through. I was going through really slow. I was actually in four high, not four low. I was in four high and I didn't have any lockers on and I was basically idling through and then just giving a little gas to get out. You know, you can feel if you start to sink that you're going to have to really get on it, but it just, it went through them. So it was no big deal. And I didn't... I ain't walking any of those things, man. <laughs> they always say walk bog holes. Well, out here, they're you know you're on a you're on a track. There, no one's in there just tearing it up and digging these giant uh, crevices. Not up here, at least. There's some areas that people do that. But man, I'm having a blast. I'm having more fun today than I've had in a long time. And probably later on today, I'll talk to you a little bit about some of my thoughts about the other vehicles. Being that, you know, it's been a while since I, I brought out the Jeep and now doing what I'm doing today, some really interesting stuff has popped up and, and I, think it, I think it might be interesting to you guys. We'll talk about that a little bit later today.
Get out of the way. I was trying to go down this this track here had some pretty good bog holes of watery mud and I got owned by some cows down here and I had to turn around <laughs> you know I didn't want to I actually didn't really want to run them off because they were drinking out of the thing and man they don't get a whole lot of water up here when it comes to uh being the high desert so I figured I let them do their thing so if you you see the sky I've got uh, some pretty good rain clouds, hopefully, hopefully rain. That direction, keep looking in the sky. That direction, that direction. Those are, those are thundering over there right now. But it hasn't rained where I'm at. I'm surrounded on all sides by these clouds, but I needed to rinse this off. There's not a whole lot of mud on there, but there's enough. <laughs> there's enough mud. I can hear, oh, I just saw lightning over there. I don't know if you guys caught that, but there's thunder and lightning going on over there, which is southeast. And to get out of here, I've got to go southwest and then head south again. So hopefully I can catch some of this storm, like, you know, on the pavement going back where you're just driving for 80 miles on the pavement and it's all watery. Well, I was talking earlier about, um, you know, I was thankful I brought the Jeep out today and what that, how that's gonna relate to these other builds that I'm doing. Um, as far as the as far as the black bear goes, it's pretty much done. You know, I, I put a lift on that one, and I put the the sh the shocks and stuff, and it 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 does really good. I've been a lot of places with that one. Uh, the only thing I really would like to have on that is a rear bumper that has a tire carrier, because those tires on that standard uh, were a lot smaller than the ones I put on, and I can't put it up underneath. And so I have right now, I keep it in the, in the back and I'd like to get that out of there. That's the only real thing I'd like to do uh, still to the Black Bear, the GX470. Other than that, it's pretty good. Um, the Land Cruiser 100, the tires were pretty close. You know, I put 30, put 31, no, 31s, 33s, put 33s on that and really close to the same size that was on there. So it was able to go up and under into the spare spot. So that one's pretty good. And then brings me back around to, I got mud all over my arm. I was holding the camera out the window and I went through a, a river crossing. Brings me to the, um, the difference between the Jeep and all of those other uh, vehicles. One major one, it's got 37 inch tires, so it's got really good ground clearance. Number two major one is it's got a winch on the front. Number three, it's got lockers, right? Both front and rear. So going out like today where it's gonna rain, where it's been raining, where it's muddy, um, kind of out, you know, pretty, pretty far out on some of these tracks by yourself, you got to be able to self recover. And two of the tracks that I found today that were really, really good that I, that I actually recorded on the GPS. I don't know if I could do it in any of the other vehicles in the state that they're in right now. I mean, I could, if it was with, if I was with someone else in case I got stuck, but other than that, they don't have lockers, they don't have winches, and they don't have mud tires. Oh, that's the other thing. This has got mud tires. I run all terrains on all the other ones. So what it's got me thinking is on the 80, on the 80 series, that I'll probably go and follow through with <clears throat> my idea, try and find a front bumper that I like and get a winch for it. And then probably get 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I, it's a toss-up between mud terrains and 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 those falcon wild peaks. I like those. Those work really good. They work great in the snow. They work great in the rain. Um, I did get the Land Cruiser 100 stuck in the mud with them, but then again, I was. I can't blame the tires. That's all. That was all driver. And then obviously they're not going to be that big. I might be able to get 35s on the 80 depending on the lift, but I think pretty, pretty quick, I'm probably gonna to wanna to put lockers on it. Now, if I get a winch on it, I think that'll be, that'll be okay to run it without lockers for a while because when you really get bogged, you need a winch to get out. Like when I got bogged down in this in the snow, I, it, wasn't the, uh, it wasn't the lockers that got me out, it was the winch. There was one other time I got stuck, and but I was out. It was in one of these areas down here. I might be able to show you a picture. It was crazy. Wide open, flat meadow type area. Flat road, actually the, the groomed road, but it was all covered in snow. And it had frozen over a couple, melted and frozen over a couple times. And I got stuck on that road. So I was in no, within no reach of any tree for the winch. So I came out of four low, went into four high, locked both lockers and just put both feet on the gas pedal and floored it until it got itself out. And that's the case where the lockers did get me out. Oh wow, that's, that is a wicked storm coming this way. Oh wow, the, okay, the clouds kind of, I've been watching them all day. It's definitely raining right here. You can see the streaks coming down. So I do need to go south, but I need to go back out of here. So maybe I will be able to get some rain. I don't really want to be in as far as I am right now. If it starts raining, man, I found some good. I've been driving for four hours up here. And the little bit that you've seen so far, as far as me talking to the camera or the shots, I just been really focusing on capturing these tracks. The good thing is now when I come back out, I'll be able to film more um, all of these tracks I recorded. But today I really wanted to just get as much as I could recorded on the GPS. That way, when I say, hey, I wanna go hit a good loop four by four track, I know exactly where to go, so. All right, I'll try and get you some uh, footage of the rain. Wow, it's the camera is freaking out because it's the clouds. So this is, look at that, it's almost like apocalyptic looking right there. Did you see how fast that came in? I just showed you a second ago, this is south. Look at how much that's changed already. The clouds are actually strangely blowing, blowing southeast to northwest right now. That looks pretty wicked, this should be good. But the Jeep has done really good today. It's been, oh my God, you guys. Look, it's a beast, okay? I built this years ago and I put, I put a lot of money into it, right? It was during a time where I had three jobs, three good jobs, and everything was paying well, um, you know? And I had saved and saved. And when I bought the Jeep, I had it in my mind that I'm like, look, you know what? I wanna, I wanna get this thing you know, lifted and locked and all this stuff. I didn't buy the Rubicon. I know I've kind of gone through this before. I didn't buy the Rubicon, which I did. I didn't know much about Jeeps, right? I, I knew what the Rubicon package was, but what I really wanted to do, I really wanted to have air lockers and I replaced the front axle. I did, a, I put a lot of money into this thing. Um, it's got a full roll cage in there. Uh, it's got all kinds of stuff, but the way it sits, it's so capable. Like when I, wow, that, okay. It's like, it doesn't take long for the whole sky to turn on you. I'm at the highest point in this region. I'm on top of a, the mountain. So if lightning strikes, I better get out of here. But, the, you know, my point being is that when 
when I know I'm going to go somewhere that's going to be real aggressive, obviously I want to take this. And you know what? I, I was I was complaining about how the Jeep is like not you know it's all over the road. It's not all over the road. I I guess I just haven't driven it much lately. It's fine. It actually drove up here really good. Everything's good. I have soft sway bars on it so it can articulate really good. And the thing is that I don't know. It's just it's it's. It's a great vehicle, I love it. But I do love the other ones, you know, because there's a lot of trails up here that aren't really super, super challenging, but they're a lot of fun to take. And when you take them in like the GX or the one of the Land Cruisers, it's just a lot of fun, right? It's a lot of fun. So I don't know, I, this is kind of going out in the snow and then in the water like this, it really can get nasty up here. It can really, really get nasty and I want at least one of the other three vehicles to be well equipped like this one. Not, you know, not not fully decked out, not, you know, lifted in 37s, but maybe some 34s. I've been really looking at tires and I think I could get some like 34 and a halfs. I don't want them to be too wide. I don't want them to be as narrow as the ones I put on the other two vehicles, but you know, I don't want them to be like 1250s. If I can find some 34 1150s, there there's some out there. Those dang cows stopped me though, man. That one cow was pissed off. He's like, moo, <laughs> he was mooing away, but they were slurping up that mud puddle. So I figured ah, I'll just turn around. All right, well, I'm gonna, I think that's really what I wanted to talk about was finally getting back out on the, in the Jeep after months and months of not using it. And the only reason I wasn't using it is because I got these other, you know, budget vehicles and I was having a lot of, I am having a lot of fun with them. So, wow, the whole sky changed. It's all, <laughs> It's all here. All right, I'm gonna go chase this. I'm gonna go chase this and try and get the mud rinsed off. <laughs> 